Literally none of the glue is like touching any of my hair. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zaria, if you don't know me, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to protect your edges underneath your wig. So basically, this video is just gonna be all about techniques to make sure that your edges are protected while you're wearing wigs. I know a lot of people have concerns with wearing frontal wigs and like ripping your edges out. I know that's like a big concern for a lot of people, but it really shouldn't be, cause it's not like, it's not what you think, okay? <laughs> I definitely wanna let it be known that just because you wear wigs does not mean like it's gonna tear your edges out. There are definitely ways that you can avoid that you would literally have to like rip the wig off glue it to your edges and then rip it off for your edges to be coming out like your edges should not be coming out so anyways yeah that's what this video is going to be about I do want to give a quick shout out to West Kiss Hair for sponsoring this video they sent me this gorgeous unit it's literally so soft like I would have definitely thought this hair was like way more expensive than it is but yeah like it's just giving everything that needs to be gave okay okay so real quick I'm gonna give you all of the specs on this hair so it is a 200 density HD body wave 13 by 6 lace frontal. I love a 13 by 6 because you can do fun stuff like this. This hairstyle took forever. I recorded a TikTok of me doing this hairstyle. If the TikTok came out good, then it should be posted. But if it didn't, we ain't gonna talk about it. Well, I haven't looked at the footage yet, but yeah, 13 by six, you can do fun, cute hairstyles like this because the part just goes so far back, which I love. If all of my wigs could be 13 by six, I would get them all 13 by six. It's 24 inches and I'm gonna show you how long it is. So if I stand up, in the front, it comes to like my waist and in the back, it's literally touching my butt. Like, girl, that's a long 24 inches. Like, in what universe does 24 inches touch your butt? They give me what need to be gave, okay? So anyways, yeah, shout out to West Kiss Hair for sending me this unit, which we will be installing in today's video. Like this video if you like this video. Comment below if anything in the video was helpful to you or if you decide you're gonna try this hair. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you're interested in knowing how to protect your edges underneath your wigs, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting with two wig caps on. Basically, one of them is to just like hold my hair out the way because my braids is just in shambles right now, okay? But this one on top, this is the bald cap. This is the one I'm gonna be using for my bald cap. So yeah, a bald cap basically is just like, kind of like a barrier between your skin and the glue or your hair and the glue. So you definitely protect your edges whenever you wear a bald cap. And you can even like gel your edges back too before you put your bald cap on just so you can make sure your hair is completely out the way. But yeah, so this is what's, this is what's basically gonna protect my edges. This is what I do majority of the time when I put on a wig. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I get lazy and I don't always do a ball cap but this is a really good way to protect your edges whenever you're wearing a wig okay okay so first and foremost I have to cut the ear holes and you want to cut behind your ear and then kind of like pull your ear through just to prevent any running up here in the stocking cap and then once you have your ear holes cut I like to use this even lace it's not a lace glue it's a lace bond technically you can use this to like spray your wigs down instead of using glue. I'm pretty sure that's what they made it for, but I like to use it for my bald caps because I feel like it just has a way better hold than the got to be. The got to be works too, but I just feel like this, yeah, like this is what I rather use. So you're gonna see me literally just like spray this along my hairline. It's really gonna be a little bit in front of my hairline. And then I'm gonna blow dry it. This is the T3 blow dryer brush. Um, Amazon actually sent me this forever ago. And I love it specifically because, am I doing this right? Specifically because you can remove the heads. It comes with two different brush heads, but you can also just use it like this, which isn't that perfect for blow drying my bald cap down. Like, it just makes perfect sense. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna speed this up because it does take a little minute. So yeah, I'm just literally just gonna be spraying this down, blow drying it, and then we gonna come back when it's dry. Everything I'm naming, by the way, will be linked in the description. So if you wanna go ahead and get it for yourself, you can definitely do that. But yeah, let me speed through this real quick. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark I got my niggas cross the street living large Thinking back to the fact that they dead Thought my raps full the facts that they sat with the bars I got two phones, one need a charge Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart I got big packs coming on the way I got big stacks coming out to save I got Lil Max with me, he the wave It's a big gap between us and the game In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid 
When I die, I put my money in a grave. When I die, I put my money in a grave. Really okay, so it's fully dry. And you know it's dry because when you touch it, it's not sticky. If it's sticky, then keep blow drying because it's not dry. And it's going to be a nightmare when it's time to cut it off. So make sure it's dry. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut. Oops. And cut the excess lace. Okay, so now that the excess cap is cut, I'm taking my bold hold glue. It really doesn't matter what lace glue you use for this, but since I'm using the bold hold glue to lay my wig down, I'm just gonna use it right here too. And I'm literally just laying down like the front part of the bald cap that kind of sticks up a little bit. You don't need a lot of glue for this at all. And then I'm just going to smooth it out. Notice no glue has touched my hair, my edges, none of that. And then the last step for your ball cap is this even tinted lace spray. I get mine in medium brown or medium dark brown. It really doesn't make a difference to me. But this is medium dark brown. And I'm just going to spray this onto my cap just to make it the same color as me. And then it's going to like really look like a ball cap, you know? And there you have it, there's your ball cap. So now that your edges are protected, we're gonna put the wig on. This is the unit I'm gonna be installing today. Again, shout out to West Kiss Hair for sponsoring this video. This is actually my first time working with West Kiss Hair. And when I tell you, as soon as I took the hair out the bag, it's so soft. It's a little wet right now because I washed it earlier. But the hair is so soft. That was like my first indication that I like this company. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just trying to place the wig like where I want it to kind of sit. Okay, and now that I kind of have the wig where I want it, I'm just gonna roll it back out the way so that I can start to lay the glue down. And I'm using this same bolt hole glue to actually lay my wig down. And notice I'm putting the glue at the edge of the bald cap. So literally none of the glue is like touching any of my hair. I don't like to let the glue touch my hair at all because, I mean, I, I don't wanna say it's bad for your edges for the glue to get on it, cause like, you can safely remove it, but I'd rather just not even have to deal with none of that, you know? So I'm gonna put about like three layers of this glue before we lay the wig down. Okay, so now that all my glue is laid, I'm gonna pull my wig forward and lay it down. I like to comb it into the glue just so that it stays. Now I'm just tying this down real quick so it can really melt. And I'm gonna let this sit for like a couple minutes. Y'all, I've been getting so tired of doing my hair. Like I'm already like <laughs> over it. But my hair literally needs to be done because I work tonight. If you watch my videos, you know I do bottle service and it's just like my hair and makeup gotta be on point every time I work. And the fact that I go to the gym, like my wigs don't always stay on that long. So it's like, I feel like I'm literally always doing my hair and I'm always doing my makeup. But anyways, let me let this sit and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I took it off and now I'm just gonna cut the lace real quick. Okay, and then just to melt it some more so it's not looking so white, I'm gonna use the Got To Be Spray. This spray makes such a huge difference when it comes to like melting your lace. I don't know why, I honestly don't know what the science behind that is, but, but it works. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that for like another couple minutes. Okay y'all, so I'm done installing my wig. I went ahead and styled it. I recorded that for TikTok. I'm really hoping that TikTok came out good because this hairstyle was very stressful. This is what it looks like. 
I think I did okay. What do y'all think? Comment below. Again, I do want to give a big shout out to West Kiss Hair. This is my first collaboration with them and I'm obsessed with their units. My favorite thing is that it's just so long. Like for a 24 inch, for it to come all the way to my butt, it's crazy. That's very impressive. So yeah, shout out to West Kiss Hair for sponsoring this video. If you want to see this hairstyle, by the way, my TikTok is Zaria Shante. It's the same as my YouTube, my Instagram, my everything. If this video was helpful to you, definitely comment below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's pretty much all I gotta say. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.